Hey guys, Dr. Adil here. Today I'm going to be talking about intermittent fasting. It's become a very popular trend, so I'm not going to go into details on how to do it or why it's beneficial. I think almost everyone knows about that already. I really want to talk about the biggest problem with intermittent fasting. So a lot of the proponents of intermittent fasting will tell you that there's no downsides to it and that you should be using it on a daily basis. However, there is a big downside and that is muscle loss. So what happens when you are doing intermittent fasting and if you're not getting enough protein intake and you're not doing a periodized resistant training program, in other words, a graded exercise program where you're getting stronger or at least maintaining your strength, you will lose muscle on intermittent fasting. This was well documented by Peter Atia, who's a well-known physician with a special interest in longevity. He had an obese patient who was doing intermittent fasting on a daily basis and was doing yoga and walking as his physical activity. And so he actually lost about 50 pounds. He went from something like 250 pounds to 200 pounds but even though he lost so much weight and they did something called a DEXA scan which is where they check your body fat percentage and your muscle percentage he actually went from 18% body fat to 30% body fat so they were astounded by this the fact that he actually went up in body fat percentage even though he lost so much weight and so this is a clear example of where if you're doing low intensity exercise and you're not getting enough protein but you are losing weight you actually lose muscle and fat not just fat and remember, muscle is so important and protective, not only for your joints, but also for your heart, for diabetes, for dementia. It's, it is really the organ of longevity, as Dr. Gabrielle Lyon always says, so it helps to prevent chronic disease. And I do have a video explaining all the benefits of muscle and how it works, so you can check that out if you want to see more details about it. But the key point is that if you use intermittent fasting on a daily basis, you will lose muscle. So you can prevent this by making sure you cycle intermittent fasting. You can do it a few times per week or you can do a period at a time. Some people, for example, will do five days at a time and then they'll do, it that, they'll do that every three to four months. And then there's certain people like me who will do it once or twice a week just to get some of the health benefits in terms of autophagy, which is essentially where it helps to get rid of senescent cells. You can think of senescent cells as the cells of aging. They're almost like debris that get left behind as you age. And if they don't clear up, they can cause inflammation. And as we know, chronic inflammation can lead to a lot of problems. So essentially intermittent fasting can help to clear up these senescent cells, which is a nice health benefit of it. However, it is a very specific tool. The only time I really recommend it to use on a daily basis is if you're very severely obese, like BMI of over 30, 35, and you're diabetic, because then it can have a lot of health benefits and losing some muscle at that point isn't the priority. You just need to lose some weight and you need to optimize your blood sugar levels, which intermittent fasting can help with. So I did work professionally in weight loss. However, now I'm specialized more in sports medicine, but I do keep up with the literature and Alan Aragon and Dr. Spencer Nedlowski are two great resources for objective nutrition evidence. The reality is Dr. Jason Fung and the carnivore diet and all these other gimmicky doctors, they're just promoting their own tools and their own books. They don't actually know anything about health and fitness and longevity. They just have one very specific niche that they focus on and they promote that. So I try to remain as objective as possible and look at all the available evidence and share that with you guys. And that's what Alan Aragon and I feel like Dr. Spencer do as well. They're not biased and they're not trying to promote one way. They're trying to just help people with the most objective evidence possible. And that's also what I want to do. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please share and subscribe and share this with anyone you think is doing intermittent fasting or if you're thinking about it too.